Exactly. They can even kill uh, MG Jonas, who just escaped with a few hit points left. You can even see uh, he has so many resource, uh, resources, Patrick, the commander for Marines, uh, so he drops so many med packs all the time. And scans. Yeah. So Fontes and Daz, they have moved into the hive location right now. Actually That's blocking them. Team. The aliens completely uh, from comes, getting out. Here comes the rest. And cat packs are dropped. Ninja Hive, elevator, do it. 170 rests. And then uh, end the second ninja hive and repair. Yeah. Empty Jonas escaping through events, but they don't need to catch him, it doesn't matter. They can now just kill the hive. Okay, the aliens have 173 resources? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Alnir goes down somewhere. Yeah, it was Alnir, which also was the lurk, apparently. And it's CG. It is, definitely. Yeah, well, that's a hive. Well. Yeah. Well, well. So, what went wrong? Or what went right? From the perspective of Pink Puffy Babblers. I think often when you see uh, the Marines have very good shooters, um, you don't want to uh, to go for the engagements because you're going to lose them anyway. You have to uh, you have to be really annoying so much as you can, taking all the resource towers down, f hit the base as much as possible. So you're forcing the Marines back all the time. You will be able to control the battle. Not that... Uh, so you're not going to lose your, your life forms instead. It's, it's very difficult having um, playing against two marines that's so good users as uh, Gibral and and Fandas. Yep. But of course they when I mean that's one thing you can do. But the other thing is definitely you need to, uh, to communicate the engagement some better. You saw many times that these skulls were running in by themselves, getting uh, totally annihilated one by one. I think that first engagement in Hub was uh, most exemplary. Um, they had been three skulls, they could have taken him, but you need to coordinate it. If you if you go in all at the same time, they could have killed for this. Yeah. They would probably have killed one skull at least, but at least he would have been uh, gone, so they could move into into repair room or lodge E, or at least prevent the Marines to move into our processing, capping all these RTs they had. Exactly. You, saw, you also saw in the early game that they didn't have any skulk on the repair side, the left side. So two marines were actually able, in the beginning of the game, getting logistics, repairs, all processing and all the way to warehouse. And they hold it that. So yep. what, that's really too many I resources. Noticed, what I noticed is while they both marines cap warehouse, we had two skulks uh, in warehouse who wanted to fight them and didn't even coordinate correctly yet. I would have personally just said fight or repair and let them be in warehouse. Yeah. Repair or uh, repair or processing energy. There was almost no responding on that side. But yeah. Well, it's a. Uh, we have a. Uh, I mean, it's okay. We have the, we have here a lineup on the on the tour side, which hasn't played that much competitively so far. I mean, of course, there are two experience, three experience. Somewhat experienced, but uh, one of them is the strong leader on the field, I would say. Making making the calls are needed in that situation. Yeah, I think that that would uh, help a little bit, exactly. But but uh, yeah, the engagement hub you saw that Fontes was in uh, the down left corner. So no matter where he was looking at in hub, he had the best range because he could look all the way through uh, north tunnels, and he, he could also look almost. To the red box yep. at the uh, the corridor uh, south from mezzanine. So when you saw the skulks, there was three or four at one point. You saw that one of them yep. was uh, charging by himself, actually on the ground. And there, I would say that uh, when you have communicated communicated an engagement, you should uh, you should the one skulk that's uh, running in front should use the walls or the ceiling or the objects around him, 
not trying to get closer to the marine, just being annoying. So to make sure that Fondus is uh, now this was Fondus, that Fondus is focusing that skulk, so the other skulk were able to uh, to finish him off. Yeah. Well, what you could also do is just leave him on Hub because on Hub he cannot do any troubles. So you just leave him there. You you move the skulks out of Hub into our processing or even to observation side when you have four skulks there. You cleave a recapper and go into shipping. Yeah, you actually right yes. about that because when he was alone in Hub, he he won't dare to to move out by himself because then Hub is clear, and uh, they don't block the lane. Yes. So no marines will move out unless if they are by themselves in Hub anyway. So yeah, that actually also worked. I guess I will disconnect soon. Uh, <laughs> the second time. What's up with your uh, What's up with your router? Nothing. No one knows. It has a mind of its own. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, there's a change in my lineup of the aliens, so I'm pink flabby babblers. Uh, Stephanie went in. And Stephanie. Louis went out. Who went out, you said? Louis. Louis. He is now a spectator. Oh, Louis. Oh. And Stephanie is uh, in User in your channel the room. Out. <laughs> <laughs> funny. So this Gibral guy, is he also in PFG? It's not like he is uh, using the attack or anything. I don't know what the attack is actually. I think that might be the attack. Oh, for... He might be the only one who was using the attack. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm afraid of right now is... Um, you're gonna see Fandus go as Fade, of course. I'm not sure what Gibral is playing. But Fundus is really going to be hard getting down. So, if Tor know about this, about this very good Fae player, they should see if they can get some ambushes up, stay together in groups, hopefully get weapon level 2 and shotguns, else they, I don't think that will stand a chance. Oh, these guys. <laughs> Is the game starting? Ah, oh, shit, I can't remember the hotkeys. Ah, no matter. Okay. Okay, game starting. So let's see where the spawn points will be. We have PFP in shipping, and then we have a tour spawn in warehouse. Let's see what Marines are doing. So they are also going for the uh, first arms lap. Or a building. <laughs> I almost can't reach it with all five people. <laughs> Armor one, yes. Kind of the usual thing. Skulk's moving into Mezzanin. Can't they they decide to go into the vent. And this is super dangerous for the marines. I don't think they are prepared for us. They are definitely not prepa prepared for this. Uh, this is gonna be bad. They're going for the IP, for sure. Oh, no, the arms lab! Set. Oh. Scacy actually decides to get out of the command chair. Not a very wise decision. Now they can't support his marines. The moving Skyfish just went down. They're going for the IP now. Scacy is respawning. Sadly, a bit too late. Got the marines from the field running back to their base. Do oh, they saved for IP. <laughs> That's it. That's something. But hopefully, Scacy. Uh, what's that called? <laughs> you know, uh, the armor one upgrade? He ha yeah. he should have cancelled it. Hopefully he cancelled it. I don't think he did. Bluey <laughs> uh, just showing off here a little bit. They didn't plan anything. <laughs> this is just pro people, man. <laughs> okay, oh, so... Well, yeah, snipes out Amy. And now they are uh, no processing. Frisco Express is Skyfish and Shifter. Ah, too bad there. Okay, so... If all three survive. And now goes the IP down. No! There was no armory. This means no welder. Command station under attack. I think this is game. 
They will probably go for a re. The Marines have lost too many resources uh, at this point. Yeah, I think this is GG. We don't have any. We have only our NTC out on the field, so they're ruining him <laughs> observation. Yep. Well, very quick win that here. That was a quick one. Pink, pink fluffy bubbles. But I must say that uh, it was nice to see after they lost yeah, the arms lab. Do, uh, re after, after they've lost the arms lab, they were quickly out on the field again, uh, doing some lock, uh, lane blocking and uh, or processing and hub. Yeah. But sadly, when they lost the engagement in all processing, the rest of the marine, uh, sorry, the re rest of the scouts was just moving back into their base, getting rid of that IFP. But this is. Yeah, uh, but, but IFP was so low. I mean, it was it was quite clear that those guys yeah. would move in again because they had no armory, so they had no welder. Exactly. What I want to do uh, in these situations is uh, having a um, two-two-one split. So you have two in the middle and two on one of the sides, and then the one person that's uh, by himself, he won't move further away than the native resource tower. So he will be able to move back. You can assist him with some medpacks, and while he is uh, keeping them busy, so they're not biting anything else you, you don't want to lose, uh, you can have some of the other people moving back, and you can also self jump out of the, the command chair with some medpacks on top of the command chair, so you will be able to hold out for a bit further. But it's a very difficult situation to stand in. Yep. It's definitely not funny. Well, actually, I must say that uh, the arms lab location was pretty good. I mean, putting it in the corner, it forces the skulks to bite it from... Uh, from the back on you. Exactly. So you will be able to put them down. Also, he can, he can easily see it from his CC. So yeah. if he looks out, he immediately sees it. Well, good location. But you need to, if you make that split, you need one guy in North Tunnels to have a, have a look on that vent if you start a warehouse. Definitely, that was definitely a problem. But uh, then again, it was a pretty good tactic, even they didn't plan it, uh, for PFB. Using that vent, because normally you don't have any Marines standing. Oh, I've got rip plug right now. Oh. Oh, you need to have one Marine in there uh, to have a watch on that vent. Definitely, problem, definitely. Of course, this can happen every time. <laughs> exactly. So, um, it seems like they didn't want to do a rematch. Since they're changing map? Seems so, yeah. yeah. So I guess there will now be some changes in the tour team. Yeah, Tudy should get in there and kick <laughs> their asses. This is this is not good. Um, did you miss me? Uh, what did I miss? You missed uh, base rush by PFB and winning. Yeah. Uh, yes, Skyfish asked me where did the scar slip past them. I didn't see anything, so where did... What happened exactly? Brief the event between the event between Mezzanin and North Tunnels. They had no one watching that one. So they moved out into hub platform and uh well, what is it, or? Yeah. So five skulks and base taking out the arm slap which was researching. Then they almost got the IP, it was seven percent and the second rush then finished the IP. Yeah, there's no chance it's you're gonna get back in the game from that. <laughs> I mean, if you f if you didn't cancel that research, you already what's the arms labs? Uh, what does that cost? Ten, fifteen, or something? Um, I think the arms lab is twenty even. Is it really? So it even means forty resources you just lost there when they bited that down, and then afterwards twenty five resources by that IP. I mean, it's it's impossible for you to get back in that field uh, in that game. I mean, it's yeah. But I think they should have gone for a rematch. I mean, there isn't the marine game. You only have, you, of course, you only have two games of each side. I think you should get the best of it. I mean, just uh, yeah, calling the next uh, map it means that people are PFB getting a bit. was uh, offering the rematch. They, the exactly, they did. So, so was probably deciding not to do it. I think in uh, in any PCW you should you should do a. A rematch because you're here for practice. You're not here for getting annihilated or, or being angry about stuff like this. <laughs> Don't get demotivated about these things. It's just the way it is. I mean, it's a practice. Yeah, it's better. It's, all, it's right? better when it happens now than it when it happens in official match. Yeah, and it's a lesson. I mean, they will definitely not let those skulks do that vent again in the next game. So exactly. Anyways, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Otherwise, it was not. It was not that. Bad. The next thing you will see the marines are moving through the vent. PFP as marines <laughs> <laughs> using the vent to get into the hive. <laughs> I would love to see that. Oh, did you remember that pub game when we axed the hive down with cat packs? <laughs> yeah, oh my god! Player server. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if we even had uh, cat packs. I mean, it's twenty players axing a hive. It doesn't matter if we have cat packs or not. Yeah. Oh, it was. <laughs> it was just so. We just make an organized push with twenty marines and that's it. <laughs> it was so There's awesome. Nothing aliens can do again. Yeah. <laughs> Except <laughs> counter pushing. Even they tried to bite those marines down. The hive will even go down quickly enough, so they couldn't do anything about it. I mean, they seriously they had to tactical bite one skulk on each marine to, <laughs> to make that not happen. <laughs> okay, looks like I'll be hitting the field now. Get in there, Mephiles. Show what Tor is about. Kick them. Uh, yeah, Afond has already showed us what Tor is about. We educated him well. Yeah. Well educated. Yeah. Let's let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got all the skills from us. Yeah, so. definitely, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he tried us, he was like, total noob. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Oh, okay, right. have fun with casting, guys. Thank you! <laughs> have fun playing, Mephiles. Oh. That's of course not true. I mean, Fonus was a very good player before he even joined Tor. And then he became even better. I, <laughs> I can't actually remember what game he played before Natural Selection 2. I asked him once. But I know that uh, Name Shifter, he played some weird. Uh, uh, Name Shifter is playing uh, League, League of, of Legends a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, he, yeah, he's playing with uh, with some friends. He was on a tournament um, what two weeks ago, I think. Oh really? Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. I know he played a a, um, a kind of I, don't, I, w I want to call it a Japanese game because it was about uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know it's about these uh, these. What do we call them? Man manga characters? Isn't that right? You know these weird characters with yeah, uh, yeah. which look like hats and stuff, crazy hair and stuff. Yeah, they. Uh, so it was about that, and then you uh, you were kind of a ninja thingy that you could uh, you could run on walls and jump off, and you have to fight again with swords and stuff. Yeah, it was crazy. Very uh, high paced game. So that's there where he, he got his his aim from, and then also know Light that lightning uh, reflexes. Lightning reflexes. And uh, Gino, which is not online today, he played Team Fortress 2 a lot. I mean, really, a lot. I think he has 2,000 hours or something playtime on oh, Team okay. Fortress 2. He also created some uh, some YouTube videos where he totally annihilates servers. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really crazy. That game is uh, also something special, I must say. <laughs> it's not like you. You got all your skills from Civilization, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my perfect aim! <laughs> or sneaking up on enemies. I all got it from XCOM and Civilization. Yeah, look at I can hit these things with my mouse. <laughs> <laughs> this peasant will go this way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's any peasants in Civilization. <laughs> uh, workers and settlers. Oh, workers, settlers, of course, of course. <laughs> I haven't played it. Uh, that one I can say. <laughs> <laughs> when when the people were playing Settlers and Civilization and stuff like that, I was playing Empire Earth, you know, and Age of Mythology. Uh. Those. Uh, <laughs> I really like oh, those actually, games. Actually, I, I only played uh, Quake a bit. Uh, One of them. Quake, Quake, Quake two. Three. Uh, three, I think. Yeah. Oh, that I was a popular three. one. It, it was a nice game. Which which one is the most popular one? Is I think it's three, I, I think, think it's three. Yeah, because two was. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was also yeah. popular, but I think it's free. Yeah, yeah. And I played it in India actually a bit when I was there for uh, what's going on? Cool. Okay, uh, when I was there for for half a year, a student exchange. Yeah, yeah. There was a big network on the university, of course, and a lot of these guys played Quake free all the time. So some from time to time I joined them. That's like the only shooter I played <laughs> ever. <laughs> but it was a nice game. It uh, it it didn't have any recoil on the weapons, so you could um, yeah you could run like in this game. You can just run and shoot and still hit something. Yeah. <laughs> but also, it was a fast-paced game. You, I mean, you had those uh, jumpers and you had those 
boost yeah, things. Yeah, the rocket jumps. The rocket yeah. jumps was so fun. I yeah, love had... the rocket jumps. I was rocket jumping over time, even when it damaged <laughs> myself. I did it, nevertheless. <laughs> you also had that uh, crazy sniper thing. It was a laser rifle, and uh, normally you had to use it by uh, by sniping, you know, um, using the yeah. crosshair. But people, some people were so mad at using this weapon, so they could actually hit things without a crosshair. So yeah. <laughs> they were just this running is, around. This is this is how you do. This is how you use it, uh, <laughs> a weapon, a railgun. I remember I. Yeah. I um... You have a ray gun. Yeah, you have to use it like that. Yeah. It's, there's no time to switch or something, <laughs> and uh, you just need to hit that pixel on the other side of the map. That's super important. <laughs> I remember in Counter Strike you have a um, AWP. It was the big sniper, and it couldn't one shot uh, your opponents, of course. Yeah. But there was recoil <laughs> in that game, so you had to, uh, you know, you could jump and crouch, and then the, your cursor will. Um, Will get as uh, exact as possible. So if you did this, you, I, I pointed a, a little dot on the, on my screen, so I knew where the crosshair was. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. so, you, <laughs> so you could use it without uh, using the sniper scope. <laughs> I, and I'm pretty sure I was not the only one who did this. <laughs> oh man! Oh my god! <laughs> That's crazy. That game has really haunted me. I still know the buy codes, you know, what combinations <laughs> you have to use and stuff like that. It's terrible. Stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> so, code. yeah, you had to, um, every time the game starts, you had to buy your weapons and your uh, your armor oh. and your grenades. So it's like uh, uh, B8-2, that was the armor, and then you could B4-3, that was the M83 and stuff like that. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I only played that one a, a bit on on a LAN from from year to year, but yeah, but it's not really it it didn't not uh, a or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was I don't know I I never liked it as much as Quake because in Quake you could just go Rambo Commando in there and start yeah. shooting, and if you do that then in God of you're just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Counter Strike was a bit of a different game. <laughs> that was not the same thing. You had to burst your fires, and you had to crouch to get a better, exact, um, yeah, to to remove the recoil, right? And you had to, um, you had to sneak a lot, so they couldn't listen, uh, they couldn't hear you when you walked. There was nothing like that in Quake. It was just like nope. some <laughs> kind of metal band you, you playing in the background. To get close to them. Yeah. <laughs> as loud as possible. Oh, crazy game. So do you think that the uh, Chewy Center is also streaming this? <laughs> so Who? many what? Chewy Center. He's on the server also. Yeah. We have to stream yeah. this. More streamers. <laughs> I, I don't know if he's streaming. Maybe he is. I think he is. He always streaming. <laughs> ah, so finally talk out of a team together. Took some time. Oh, when you uh. we also see that. No, Gibraltar and Fondas are still there. They have changed one out. Who's commanding? Ah, Skadi. I didn't see him there because. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> so, oh, Exodus Raven is back. Okay, I haven't seen him for a while. That's true. Okay, interesting. I actually thought that Neokin wanted to uh, stand in right now to command. Yeah, so let's see you. Uh... So now it's a bit more experience. Yeah, kind of. DC got switch, switched out and also Skyfish, right? So now it's four guys who have a, who have a complete season under the belt. Yeah. At least one season. Yeah, um, DC talking about oh, this. Um, I've just switched in Name Shifter, Gold Tusken. Oh no, Name Shifter was in there before. Yeah, it was. Will Tusken and Exodus Raven switched in. Yeah, okay. Neo was still FK. Yeah. Okay, that's the reason. Did you know these Marines actually have brown eyes? What's that <laughs> about? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's. Maybe what it's about some the kind of racism? I think the clones or something. It must be. Yeah, because if they die, they just respawn. 
must be clones. <laughs> they, they have a whole memory of a guy who died. That's crazy. And they all share that memory. They can. Uh... <laughs> yeah, they die so often. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every every time a marine die, if, his if memory it, will you, be. You can remember yourself dying like yeah. two hundred times. You remember times. the pain yeah. every <laughs> time I, you got I bitten. I never want to go back in there. <laughs> <laughs> no. the first time. <laughs> Just totally got dismembered by some crazy fate or something. It's like no. <laughs> yeah, well, those guy just chopping your leg off. Yeah. Yeah, sure. No problem. I will go in there again. <laughs> Also, <laughs> think of marines every time they die, if there was more than one marine that's dying, all these memory will be uploaded to the server. <laughs> so, <laughs> when, you, when you respawn, you got all the memories of all the marines at the same User time. Yeah. Jesus okay. Christ. Hello, user. <laughs> Hello, stream. Hello, DC. Hey. Come on, stop the game. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the turret here. So, I, DC, I had yeah. only four hours sleep. Oh, what? why is that? <laughs> Cause I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I came, I came late uh, from role playing, and are you and doing decided, role playing? And then I decided, oh, it's probably a good idea to read a book for one hour. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna go to bed right now. No, <laughs> is there a better time to do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually also got uh, home late because my car was uh, at the mechanics, so I had to take. Uh, Public transportation, totally. That's crazy. Oh, Normally, I don't I do that. I hate public transportation. I hate it so much. Yeah. So uh, I uh, except I was flying. Flying is cool. Yeah, flying is okay. That's okay. Also, one day my own helicopter. But I don't. Th I think it will <laughs> take some time before I have enough money for that. But <laughs> I've never flown in a in a helicopter. No, actually, I haven't either. Hmm. We could. Perhaps later, if I can fly a helicopter, you should take us for a trip. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought you can only fly jets. I'm not sure. <laughs> It's, it's the same. It has a stick you have to use. <laughs> <laughs> stick and with buttons. Yeah, it's probably the same. <laughs> I think you also have to use your feet. But actually, I was uh, I was taking the train home a bit late because uh, I was in the cinema and there wasn't any buses. Oh, no. I was about to give me this <laughs> awesome story. Okay, the game starts. Oh, I mean, don't give us any time to tell us some stories. No, here. what the hell? It's always ready enough, like an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Immediately! <laughs> We've only waited for 20 seconds, or 20 minutes, I mean. <laughs> so, game starts! What do we have of starting points? We see Marines data core, and of course, aliens in flight control. And we go fast arms up again. Third game. No. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably wise for PFB uh, to do that, on, especially on that map. Exactly. Now you see that Fontes has been put in the middle again. He just wiped yeah. Gultaskin out, MD Jonas yeah. and Mifflis are doing what they can to take him out, and so they did. They're missing badges and QT Pi. There's a uh, glass over They decide not to move in. They go for reactor core. So, as, as aliens, what, which one would you attack right now? Would you go for a reactor core ventilation or would you go nothing? Just wait. I would, uh, well, they just what got totally annihilated your, ventilation. What would have been your call? I think uh, it would be naturally to wait for them in either a sub-access or in atrium and put an ambush up for some, some point because they were waiting. You saw they were definitely waiting in their natural resource points for those aliens to move in. But you don't know that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But it's like, you, you know for sure that there are some marines building the resource towers in the native resource points. Uh, so you had to do something. I mean, it's in the early games. You know these guys can shoot. You would put an ambush up. I mean, it's the only... Either you have to go as a pack, or you have to put an ambush up. Okay, you see the old Skulk team is actually going into reactor core, getting that out. Drifter Girl saw this, yeah. and it just went they, past They could her. have gone data core instead. I don't know whether they go for reactor core. Reactor core is only in a team, but in data core they could have taken off the arms at that time. Definitely. So a lot of mid packs got dropped here for Drifter Girls. He went down anyways, though. Cutie Pie is also in reactor. Took, just took two skulks down. Mifli survived, though. You see, there was a bit of aggressive uh, expanding by Casey here. He expanded all the way to crossroads. Oh, yeah, I see. As he's losing the the resource tower here now. Empty Jonas moving into Fondus. Uh, 
Yeah, he, he can't drop computer IP because there's a GPL in there already. Ah, yes. And, oh, that harvester, 